for whatever reason, there are numerous games with unresolved narratives. Others harbored neat ideas but executed them poorly. Perhaps in this era of remakes and remasters, as welcome as it is, game developers should look to some of their existing IPs for inspiration. This feature aims to highlight 15 such games that deserve follow-ups. The Order 1886 Despite its frustrating over-reliance on then-outdated QTEs, The Order 1886 oozed style and atmosphere. Its steampunk story set within a vampire-enriched Victorian London expressed deep imagination, too. Perhaps its sky-high expectation was ultimately its undoing, but there's enough here to warrant a sequel. Interestingly, developer Ready at Dawn have since been acquired by Meta, and Sony themselves renewed the IP as recently as December of 2021, a VR sequel then. Surely it isn't out of the question. The Last of Us Part 2 now we're through with remakes and remasters of the first two games, and with a TV series tracking events of the second game incoming next year, now is the time to get the ball rolling on The Last of Us Part 3. Well, Naughty Dog co-president Neil Druckmann has announced a third entry is officially in the works, but we've no timeline as to when we'll see the next chapter in Ellie and Abby's story. Will our adversaries meet again? Has Ellie finally lost her thirst for revenge? So many questions, and we need answers. Deus Ex Mankind Divided Principle in Deus Ex Mankind Divided players' gripes is that the story's ending feels abrupt. Sure, plenty were satisfied by Adam Jensen's finale, but there's no denying all disparate plot points weren't drawn to a conclusion to the extent human revolution or invisible war were. Pair this with endless rumors that a Mankind Divided sequel was in the works, with a project possibly in development as far back as 2015. Mankind Divided has arguably the best gameplay and world building of any Deus Ex game, so a next-gen refresh would work wonders visually and give players a chance to experience more of Jensen's story. The Evil Within 2 the main reason behind demands for a third entry to the Evil Within series rests on the simulated world of STEM and its grotesque horrors tied to the twisted psyche of its inhabitants. In short, there's so much more Tango Gameworks can gleam out of this brutal haunt. Even if Sebastian Castellanos' story is done, protagonist of DLC entries The Assignment and The Consequence, Julie Kidman has plenty more to give. Her past, her emotions, her determination, there's scope for The Evil Within 3 with Julie as the star. Prey It'd be difficult for Arcane to make Prey 2 based on story alone, as its predecessor tied up its narrative rather neatly. However, this cult classic immersive sim with its intricate sandbox gameplay set within a monolithic sci-fi universe has potential for more. Fresh perspectives from a new locale are most likely. Perhaps a sequel could be set on a post-apocalyptic Earth instead of zero-G space. Arcane themselves need a hit after Redfall's disappointment. Perhaps Prey 2, with its unique blend of stealth, exploration, cerebral shooting, and deep philosophical thinking points, could be their golden ticket. Bully even after years of rumors and an all-but-confirmed sequel being cancelled as per late 2023 leaks, Rockstar have yet to officially comment on Bully 2. Jimmy Hopkins' rise to Bullworth Academy Playground Kingpin probably wouldn't be the focus, but there's scope for another student to take his place, confronting the cliques poisoning the school. Maybe a sequel could tackle the corrupted culture surrounding Bullworth Town itself, moving the action beyond the school gates. Either way, Bully's strong gameplay, relatable story, and wonderfully realized setting are great reasons Rockstar should revisit the series, should they ever move on from Grand Theft Auto and Red Dead Redemption, that is. Bloodborne even after Sekiro Shadows Die Twice, Elden Ring, and a sixth Armored Core game, there are From Software fans still wanting more. Amongst the most requested follow-ups of any game in recent memory, collective voices are loud for a Bloodborne sequel. Why, though? Well, it's this world, this Lovecraftian horror-tinged world, and how it fosters some of the most airtight combat in the entire Soulsborne genre. Story-wise, a prequel explaining the fall of Yharnam has been touted, but ideally an entirely new story set within the same world would be most opportune. Never say never. Days Gone 
Yes, yes, plenty of negativity has been spouted on Days Gone over the years. It just didn't resonate well with most critics because of, you know, bugs. Once the patches rolled out, players were enthralled. There's nothing quite like bounding around scenic post-apocalyptic Oregon, a ravenous horde of zombies in tow. Game director Jeff Ross has spoken of the first entry in game franchises functioning as foundation layers, with developers able to shoehorn all their great ideas into a sequel, which they couldn't figure out how to build into the first. Days Gone 2 Flame has been well and truly doused by the game's other director John Garvin though, who repeatedly laments Sony's decision to cancel a follow-up in favor of Ben Studios reportedly working on a live service game. Shame. Sleeping Dogs. Yes, there was a Sleeping Dogs sequel officially in pre-production, and yes, unlike some of the other cult classic titles on this rundown, Sleeping Dogs was a commercial and critical success. Plenty of cool features were planned for Sleeping Dogs 2, including procedurally generated side content, cooperative play, and a companion app that let another user control the Hong Kong police force. So wrinkles in its predecessor aside, a sequel to this GTA rival would have been fantastic, if only Square Enix took the financial risk. Metal Gear Solid V The Phantom Pain While Konami disputes this claim, there's the unending feeling that Metal Gear Solid V The Phantom Pain is unfinished. There's just too many lingering questions. How did Big Boss establish Outer Heaven? What happened to the Diamond Dogs? How was Grey Fox recruited? A sequel could easily follow directly after the events of Metal Gear Solid V. There's enough there for a gargantuan story. Uncharted The Lost Legacy Uncharted The Lost Legacy does not deserve its degrading title as a glorified Uncharted DLC. For starters, its full realization of the underdeveloped stealth combat mechanics in mainline Uncharted titles, married with the well-executed semi-open-world gameplay alongside an engaging dual protagonist setup, means The Lost Legacy is very much a worthy entry, and this expansion must be the future of the Uncharted series. After all, Nathan Drake's story is concluded. Uncharted 5, The Lost Legacy 2, whatever it's called, there's a solid foundation to continue the franchise. Ghost of Tsushima While a definitive release date has not been announced, Ghost of Tsushima 2 has at least been confirmed as incoming by Sucker Punch, so we can expect to continue Jin Sakai's journey beyond the original Mongol invasion of Tsushima Island. Ghost of Tsushima is set in 1274, and just so you know, the Mongols invaded Japan again in 1281, so there's scope for a same-again story at least. We'd expect a refinement in Ghost of Tsushima's fine-tuned combat for any sequel, but a deeper, more nuanced take on Jin's lone wolf status as a samurai divorced from the shogunate would be intriguing too. Above all else, Ghost of Tsushima is a beautiful game, so there's no real barrier for players enamored with the first game to want a sequel. Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy Its combat was divisive, but Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy's writing, character performances, and story were top-notch. The game was a sleeper hit, which probably didn't get its dues due to the lackluster Avengers game released a year before, but those who played Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy can testify that this game deserved a sequel, if only for the quippy NPC dialogue alone. Gears 5 Okay, so we have zero indication as to when the sixth entry in the Gears series will release, but given that Gears 5 ended on such a cataclysmic cliffhanger, Gears 6 is all but in the bag, surely. No matter which ending to Gears 5 is canon, Marcus Phoenix is out for revenge, so Gears 6 will likely center on his and Kate Diaz's recompense against Diaz's mother, aka the Queen of the Swarm. There's definitely more story to be told, and let's just hope that the Coalition's switch to Unreal Engine 5 won't just yield a game that looks next-gen, but feels next-gen. Cana Bridge of Spirits a great game is Kana Bridge of Spirits, but the story did end rather abruptly. It'd be appreciated if a sequel emerged to explain the destiny of Kana's father, expanding on the lore of the spirit guides, or simply gave Kana a new world to explore. That's all for now. If you enjoy what you saw, please hit the like button. And if you're new to the channel, now is a great time to subscribe. We upload brand new videos every single day. After subscribing, don't forget to enable all notifications by clicking the bell icon. Thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you next time, right here on Gaming Bolt.